part two of an even longer commentary. Uh, yes. Here I'm just upgrading powers and switching out all my gear and stuff. Uh, I grabbed the Unity um, ability, which really helps out in some fights. It's basically, if you have any dead squad mates, you can revive them during battle instead of having to <clears throat> wait till after combat is over, and it really helps out here. Um, right here I'm going to put on some extra gear. I basically... I haven't changed any weapons at all up to this point at the game, so right now I'm just going through all the stuff that I've looted and switching out my assault rifles, my pistols, my sniper rifles, and that's basically about it. And I change armors, because I'm wearing the kind of boring, generic human armor. So I switch to... I'm not sure what I... Yeah, it's... Assassin. Good for it. Awesome. So, yes, now we're going to go into the facility. And... Yes. It is not a very fun battle. In fact, I... I probably recorded for about 15 minutes before I could beat this area. Probably just because I suck, though. Um, it took me a few times to realize what my problems were. Um, also, the AI tends to glitch your squad combat AI. Sometimes they'll get stuck in that room where I was just in. Um, also, this door doesn't open until you physically walk up to it. Um, kind of a problem is everyone's like dead accurate with their rockets and kind of almost gets you killed multiple times. So, yes. Alright, not much else to talk about. Use force push, use sabotage on all your guys. Sabotage will really help out. Warp damages. The really only big problem you have to worry about is the Geth Juggernaut, and there are also some Krogans in the back, which, um, if they get up close and personal with you, you're fucking screwed. Because they can run faster than you, and they can do a lunge attack, which will. Their melees, to me at least, were. One hit would knock out my shields, one hit would bring me to half health, and then another one would bring me dead. And they also have the strange ability to revive themselves. Um, here's kind of a bullshit thing about this game is you'll see me sniping these guys and I'm actually not hitting them due to the game not detecting um, that I, you know, I'm shooting at them because of distance and it's BS. I mean, you could see me hitting that crate and I knocked it over. But, you know, the instant they started to, um, I mean, they can shoot at me, too. But, yeah, it's just kind of annoying. Anyway, that's really all I had to talk about in this video, I think. See, you know, now, now I'm able to snipe them. Oh, yeah, Krogans can come back to life, or... Er, like, seconds before they're dead, they'll revive themselves, which is why I actually would have beaten it on my second try, but uh, they revive themselves. Wonderful. Anyway, you'll see that Tally isn't helping at all during this fight. Liara is the only one that comes with me. But I'm not getting off track like I wanted to, and I just wanted to say, people need to stop commentating on... commenting... commentating? Commenting? Yeah, they keep commenting on videos that's too damn old and I don't want to close comments but if you guys ever if you guys have had any videos you'll see that if you get comments on it it'll fill up your inbox and I prefer it to be like only videos that came out like within the last three months and I don't think there's a way to do that for your YouTube comments so if anybody knows how to do that and I don't want to block comments because um, on those said videos just due to the fact that uh, more comments equals uh, more um, people that will find me in the search bar. Um, so yeah, and also that goes along with views, but comments help out immensely too, so I don't want to close the comments. So, if anybody knows how I can fix that dilemma, because I mean, people are still commentating on, commenting on prototype and, uh, my prototype videos that I did like, you know, back in June. And I'm just like sick and tired of them telling me, oh, you can use this power, you can use this power. I mean, people have beat it on hard without doing any side quests at all. Uh, just, you know, give me a break.
I thought that guide was pretty well done. Anyway, I'm just going to finish off these Krogans. Best way to fight them is if they're stupid and they sit back and try to shoot you with their crappy little guns. When they start rushing you, that's the problem. Eh, Krogan? Is he going to rush us? I don't remember. Boom. He's dead, though. Doesn't matter. And here they are. I had to be shooting at... Was shooting at that one Krogan. I'm not sure if it's a glitch, but that one Krogan just stands right there. Um, but now the fight's over, and now we have to go get Tally's stupid ass that was sitting in this fucking room the entire time. And yeah, there she is. Um, I remember on a previous run, Tally had gotten stuck in that, or maybe it was this run. Yeah, Tally gets like stuck right there, and she won't move at all. Um, I had to eventually make her teleport. I think it was like in an elevator or something. I had to make her teleport to an elevator. If you'll see me trying to jack around with it, but no, she's she's totally content on telling me that she can't walk through that doorway. And I'm like, yeah, fuck it. And now I don't know what happened to Liara. There they are. Good old teleporting AI. Oh, the hilarious stories of Left 4 Dead that I could tell you. Man, there were just some crazy modded maps on Left 4 Dead 1 where, uh, it was uh, just me and one other friend. Uh, it's a guy I met from YouTube, and he plays a lot of Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. But um, and Team Fortress 2 on the PC. Um, and we were playing some custom maps, and one of them had you going up a forklift, and uh, it was all caged off, and there was no way to jump off. But if you activated it, it never waited for everyone there, or it waited for everyone to get on there. But smokers could pull you off. So one of the AI got pulled off. And he just got stuck there. And when we got to the safe room, which the crescendo was like halfway through the level being done, the AI that was alive with us right next to the safe room literally teleported right next to the downed AI that was at the crescendo and got totally owned. I mean, within him, within seconds of him going down there, he was already downed. And and I mean seconds. It was It was pretty funny. Me and my friend were laughing pretty hard. So yeah, like I've been telling you people, add me on Steam, because I'm really starting to not play Xbox Live as much. Um, not getting any games on Xbox Live for a very long time. Probably the only game I'll be getting on there is any exclusives, really. Which the only thing I can really see myself getting in the next year on the Xbox is maybe Halo Reach, but I'm not sure how long I'm going to be keeping that. Um, I might not even get it if I don't like the beta, because I still have my ODST copy. Um, so. And of course I'll get any Call of Duty that comes out on the Xbox. Just because Infinity Ward is giving the middle finger to PC gamers. And I don't, I don't see any reason to play it on PC when I'm paying the same price. So. That's my two cents. Anyway. I just had to make a quick edit there. Anyway. Yes. No, that wasn't just two cuts. That was one cut, and I said anyway twice. Um, yeah, now you're going to fight some Geth. They're pretty dang easy to fight. I'm trying to think of more off-topic stuff. Maybe some of you will provide me some insightful comments, like, what is your gamer tag? I mean, that that would give me a lot to talk about for ten minutes. I mean, I think I did it once before. Maybe it was for, like, five minutes. But yes, this is the end of the video. Next video, we'll be starting with new enemy type that are fucking weird bugs.